Hi everybody, you've clicked on www.LarryTheWineGuy.net and I am Larry. There we are, the wine guy. I haven't been on for a while, had a little personal difficulties in my own life, actually since August of uh, 2008. This is my new set here in Pembroke Pines, Florida, no longer in Western Florida. And uh, we're back on here and I was inspired today to do another episode of the show because uh, my my roommate, uh, Carolina, who is camera shy and will not come on this camera, is uh, standing behind the camera right now giggling at me. Uh, her mom's in town, Betty is here, and she's from Argentina, as is Carolina, and brought some beautiful wine. We just finished dinner. It's Eastern Standard Time, about a quarter till two in the morning, and we just finished dinner. But Carolina, who is cuter than uh, Giada, Giada De Laurentiis, uh, made some homemade uh, butternut squash gnocchi, and we had some grilled salmon on there and carrot cake for dessert. Now, normally, an easy pairing for this type of wine uh, or the type of meal would be an Oregon Pinot Noir or a Chardonnay. Stuart Bodecker, little shout out to my friend Stuart and his wife Athena out in Oregon. Uh, that would be an absolute pairing for Pinot Noir. Would go with salmon and it would go with gnocchi perfectly. But what I'm trying to preach or practice what I preach is that every time you get a different bottle of wine from your wine merchant or your store is to order a different type of wine. Because if you get another Cabernet or another Pinot Noir or another Chardonnay from another country, you're not drinking a new wine. You're just drinking another country's Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio from another country. It's not trying a new wine. Well, today we're here to talk about what I think is the future of white wine. It's a grape called Torontes, T-O-R-R-O-N-T-E-S. It has nothing to do with Ontario, Canada. That's Toronto. This is Torontes. Um, this is from the uh, Kashayate, or Kashayate. I can't say it right, but that's because I'm not from Argentina. It's a Kashayate. Kafashate, there. Um, Amanda's behind the camera, another one of my great roommates here. Kafashate Valley. Um, Quora is a brand that you'll find a lot in your store, but on the base level, the entry level, the beauty about Toronto is it runs around $8 to a high, a high, I'm talking about $12 a bottle per high. And uh, this is a reserva that they do not uh, import or ex export to the United States of America. It's uh, a reserva I've never uh, tasted myself before because uh, it's not here in the U.S. or available. It's also barrique age. It's barrique age, which means small French oak barrels. 2006, right now in your local supermarket, you're going to find 2007, 2008 Toronto's very young wine. But the beauty of it, of the wine itself, it's refreshing. As my roommate said during the dinner, this is perfect for summertime, whether you're in Florida or whether you're in New York, wherever you are. Um, it's a perfect summertime refreshing drink and an alternative to a Pinot Grigio or any of the other whites that are out there on the market and very in inexpensive in an economy like this. Uh, I have a little bit left over. I wish I would have been here with the meal, but uh, Carolina's mother hogged all the wine, so uh, we didn't have that. But, this is what they left me, left me in the uh, big Oregon Pinot Noir glass. That's really going off the record. In the special Oregon Pinot Noir glass, we're drinking Argentina, or Argentina Toronto. So, first of all, we look at the color because it's oak aged here. We can see it's a little bit of like liquid 14 karat gold. Typical for Toronto, it's that gold color. And on the nose, even the hillbilly camera person, Amanda, who's doing this, even noticed that it was very floral, and she only smelled Budweiser, that's about it, so even anybody, this is a lay person's wine, so on the nose, she's absolutely right, now that it's warmed up to actually room temperature, you can really smell it better, it's uh, a little bit of uh, rose petal, a little bit of lavender, and lots of tropical fruits, I get a little bit of musk melon, like a honeydew melon on there, and because it's barrique aged in the oak barrels, some vanilla on the flavor, and uh, Nice legs, about, you know, 14% alcohol, which is pretty high for a Torontos, but you didn't taste the alcohol at all. Let's see what we get on the palate. Not spitting today because I'm off for Memorial Day tomorrow, so I'm going to swallow the rest of this, and this is the last drop I got. I'm lucky they gave me this much. Really tropical fruit. Now some peach is starting to come through on the palate, some, uh, a little bit of ripe pineapple. And it's still a little bit vanilla, but really, and the citrus is there, almost like a, a tangerine, mandarin orange, but definitely citrus, that orange peel taste, 
very typical for Carranzas to be a balance between floral flavors and that citrus type flavor, but really refreshing. And, you know, heck, it went well with, with all due respect to Stuart Bodecker and his $40 Pinot Noir, which I love. You know, this is a bottle that if it was in the United States would probably be about 14, 15 bucks because it's a reserver, and it certainly beats a lot of those Italian Pinot Grigios out there. I think it's the future of white wine. Nobody knows about it, but if you go to your local market, there are brands available like Alamos, Crio, C-R-I-O-S, uh, Santa Julia, which makes an organic uh, Tarantis out there, about eight bucks a bottle. Uh, the Quora, that's also about eight bucks a bottle. Uh, Bodega Lopez, which produces the famous Luigi Bosco Malbec, makes the La Linda uh, Tarantis, that's about eleven dollars a bottle. So, uh, I mean, this is really something I encourage everybody to go out and try and drink something different other than Pinot Grigio and Chardonnay. And, uh, that's it. It's great to be back on here again. It's great to be on Facebook. I want to put a little shout out to somebody on a personal level that I reacquainted uh, with myself after 30 years. We worked as ushers in a movie theater back in New York. Her name's Lillian Soto. I'm teaching her about wines. Lil, you know, try some Tarantas while you're in New York. And it's great to have reconnected with you on there. It's great to reconnect with the audience in the new Larry the Wine Guy studio. So remember, the website is www.larrythewineguy.net. You can ask me questions uh, through the website. You can look at other video lessons. You can look at other articles. And as I always say, wine is not for snobs. It's for everyday people like you, me, Caroline, Amanda, and Betty, who's sleeping on the couch. Salute and have a great day and buy yourself some Toronto. We'll see you next time. Mm. Great glass of wine.